How's it going people? Rob Mills here, Diamond Guitarist. And what's the one thing that needs repeating to make sure that you get the best out of your practice routine as a guitarist? I would say, and this is something I always encourage all my online students to do, you gotta split up your practice time into constituent parts so that you're covering all the bases. You know, if you're just sort of like noodling and not really focused, you're not writing stuff down, then uh, you're gonna be sort of chugging along much slower than somebody who's organized and is writing stuff down, who's got like a written practice routine down, maybe up on the wall in, the, in your bedroom where you practice, that's what I used to have. And it just used to perhaps say like, you know, I mean, back in those days, I'll be practicing like, you know, between six to 10 hours a day. So it would be an hour warming up, uh, an hour, you know, doing sort of like chords, an hour doing scales, uh, an hour focus on rhythms and reading rhythms, that kind of thing, and perhaps finish it up with an hour on, you know, like learning songs or improvising, just doing that stuff where you're expressing yourself and you're doing those things that you, that the whole reason that you're doing it for, right? But you've got to put the work in first. Uh, you know, learn your scale, scales, learn your chords, learn your modes, learn how to be a good rhythm guitarist and learn how to read rhythms or do some ear training as well, you know, playing the scales and singing on the scales. So all these kind of things. So if you're the kind of person that's only say got an hour a day to practice, you can go first 15 minutes warm up doing your chromatic scale, those kind of things, you know, technical exercises. Then you can do the next 15 minutes learning new chords, chord progressions, uh, chord theory, looking into chord theory a bit deeper. Then you can do your scales, you know, practice your scales, practice your modes, and your sort of scale R runs, you know, that, that mechanical thing, like the pentatonic runs and stuff like that, that you can include in, um, you know, solos and improvising, so you've just got stuff ready to hit. And, uh, and then again, the, the last 15 minutes, uh, you know, learning your songs, your new riffs, or you're learning a whole album, or, um, or just improvising, putting a backing track on and improvising. So you're just expressing yourself. And of course, that's that last se session, if we really get into it, it, might end up being like longer than 15 minutes, which is great, obviously. So if you're practicing two hours, you're gonna do 30 minutes each, each of those sections. So keep it quite simple, and those things are gonna change over the period of time, that, you know, over a period of a few months, those things are gonna change as you go, uh, depending on, on where you are and what you wanna do. But of course, uh, as I said before, I'm doing online lessons now so I can guide you and mentor you in all of those details so that you've got someone to bounce ideas off and I'm always available in between lessons uh, for any questions you have about the, the stuff that we did in the lesson. So there you go. If, you, if you're watching this and you feel like that's something that you want to do, you want to actually have somebody to guide you and mentor you and make sure you're going in the right direction, then uh, I'll put the Calendly uh, the 30 minute session and you get the free first 30 minutes with me so you can see what I can show you and where I'm going to take you more importantly uh, up to the upper levels, the upper echelons of guitar um, wisdom and, and you know a great technique with your playing and all the other, all the other cool things that come with it you know so uh, thanks for watching so make sure you get organized with your practice routine get it written down see you soon